everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project look at the Owls sweater by Kate Davies Design. So the Owl sweater was the second project that I finished in 2023. Um, so this project took me just over two weeks. I think it was like 15 days. Um, I will say that I stopped for several days during the middle of making this sweater because I was uninterested in it. Um, so this is a bottom up construction, meaning you cast on all of your stitches at the bottom of the sweater and then work up to the armpits. Then you do each individual sleeve starting at the cuff and working to the armpits. So once you have those three tubes made, the two sleeves and the body, then you join all three of them together and then continue working up the yoke. So I finished once I had connected at the yoke, the entire upper portion of the sweater took me a single morning. Um, but so it took me 14 days to do the bottom part and a single day to do from the armpit up to the top. Um, I really hate bottom up construction. Uh, moving forward, I'll be a lot more cognizant of that when I'm picking patterns and not pick things that have bottom-up construction. When I purchased this pattern, it was really, really in the beginning of my knitting and learning how to knit. And so I didn't know to like look for those sort of things yet. So I felt like I had already purchased the pattern. I needed to go ahead and make it. But moving forward, I don't think I'll buy any more patterns that are bottom-up. Um, so for this sweater, I've used the Drops Nepal, which is a a yarn that I've used previously that I really, really like. This one is 65% wool and 35% alpaca, and I've used the color forest green. Uh, this forest green color I think is really gorgeous. It has this sort of uh, multi-dimensional aspect to it with sort of some teals and some olive greens. Um, and it's only something you really notice when you look up close at it. From afar, it just looks like a nice deep forest green. So this particular yarn is an Aran weight yarn. It comes with, let me look this up, it comes with 75 meters per 50 gram skein. Uh, and I believe that I used nine skeins almost exactly to make this sweater. So this is an Aran weight yarn, but the pattern actually calls for a bulky weight yarn. And so what I did is, since I've already made a sweater using this, I measured the gauge on that sweater and I found that I got 15 stitches per four inches. <laughs> And the pattern, the owl's pattern calls for, I believe, 13 stitches per four square inches. So what I did is I did some math. I figured out, you know, how much was cast on along the bottom of the sweater. And um, based on the pattern gauge of 13 stitches, how many inches that cast on would be. And then I figured out using my gauge of 15 stitches, how many stitches I would need to cast on to get that same inch measurement around the hip weight portion of the sweater. And once I figured out how many stitches I needed to cast on, I compared that to the different sizes in the sweater and I just went ahead and used a larger size. That gave me the stitch count that should work with my smaller weight yarn. So I would have, if I had used the gauge of the pattern, I would be making a size three, but instead I ended up making a size five. So the larger size pattern and I have a smaller gauge, which should get me about the same size. Luckily, this worked out really well. I will say when I initially finished the sweater, I thought it was a little bit small still, a little bit tight, but once I blocked it, everything turned out beautiful and I love the fit that I get from this. Obviously, the star of the sweater is the sort of like owl cable design on here. Um, this is done using three different cables. So it's really easy in terms of like, there's just three rows three rows that require cabling in order to get this design, but it's really, really effective. Uh, you're supposed to put little buttons in the eyes. I haven't gotten around to it. And I don't think I will because I kind of like it being more of like a subtle nod to owls instead of like so in your face. Um, when I finished this sweater, I, I, the other thing that I don't like about, um, bottom up sweaters is that there's so many stitches to cast on in the initial bottom because you're casting on at the very bottom of the sweater that I don't, I'm not very good at doing an invisible cast on like an Italian. Um, so I ended up just doing, I think I just did a long tail cast on, which I don't like the finish as much. Um, and then when I got to the neck, because it's a two by two rib, I didn't really want to do Italian bind off because that's really better suited for a one by one rib. Uh, so I just did like the traditional bind off where you like pass one 
thread over or one yarn loop over um, and then I couldn't get the sweater on. It was just literally too tight to get over my head. So I ended up having to undo that original cast off um, and then I went back and just did the Italian cast off anyway because the Italian cast off gives me a lot more stretch along that neckline and now I can get it over my head really easily. So it's not a problem. So like I said, I made a size five in the sweater even though my measurements put me at a size three, but I knew that I was working with a different gauge yarn. Um, the, the Nepal yarn knits up really fast. Uh, it is a little bit thicker. Like I said, it's an Aran weight and I had said that I didn't really want to use thicker yarns anymore, but I do like how this one looks. I think this is just on the cusp of being um, too thick, but it's okay. Uh, and and I just definitely wouldn't have wanted to do this in a bulky weight yarn. Uh, but it does knit up really fast. Like, e like I said, even though it took me 15 days, it took me 15 days because I was dragging my feet and I didn't want to do all of the, the stockinette tubes. And that's why it took me so long. I think if I had really like buckled down, I probably could have knit this in a single week. I hope you've enjoyed my look of the owl sweater by Kate Davies. And I'll see everyone next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.